Chris Klein. Uh, hi, Blades and Sids. What do you make of Victor Madfield possibly coming out of retirement? Oh, Chris, I made a <coughs> note of that because that's one of my questions and what you he thinks of it. Yeah, I've got Madfield, question mark, question mark. I mean, I think that's ridiculous. Okay, well, can somebody Google, in this office, can somebody Google Victor Madfield and find out how old he is? Mm -hmm. He's Mad 36. Madfield. Still a playable age, but... Uh, Frick played when he was 36. The oldest Springbok ever. Okay, Chris, I'm going to, going to try and answer your question. Victor Madfield is 35 years old. Six. 36 years old. And in my own opinion, and I've played golf with Victor Madfield, I've commentated with Victor Madfield, I know him quite well, and... I, he's a s really nice guy, and I think it would be a bad move. At 36 years old, he, oh, he has played 110 test matches. He had, a, 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 one might say, a glittering record. He was man of the match in 2007, voted by the media, man of the match. You know, Blaise, he, he retired on top, stayed there. No one can point a finger at him. You know, he, he's there, he retired, he's he, a great servant to SA Rugby. But I don't know what do you want to come back for. Um, let's see if this... Tay Spritz, what does Tay say? What I, what's he saying Victor and Bucky's for? Oh, for lock combination. Oh. I, mean, I mean, Bucky's is there. <coughs> That's my next uh, question mark I've got. Well, you know, the thing is that I think they're both the retro step, retro, you know what I mean, steps. Because you've got to be building for the World, World Cup, Cup in two years' time. <laughs> Thank you. And you that's mean? what Jake White did so well, was he took the guys from the 2003 World Cup. How many times have I said it, that they took the guys from the 2003 World Cup, which Rudolf Stoyley might be a bit bitter about, saying those were my boys that I was building for the 2007 World Cup. John Smith, Scott Berger... Victor Matfield, Bucky's Buerta, um, uh, the, and one or two others went to the 2003 World Cup where we lost in the quarterfinal with a very young side, and a lot of those guys didn't play in that quarterfinal. It was Corne Kricher and that crowd, but those guys came through in 2004 when Jake White coached his first test against Ireland on the 12th of June 2004 in Bloemfontein. You, yeah. Six of those guys, he called back Oss, John Smith, CJ van der Linde came off the bench, Bucky's Buerta, Victor Matfield, Skalk Berger. Juan Smith didn't play because he was injured. So six of the, of the pack that ran onto the field to win the World Cup in 2007 played Eight. in that test in 2004. Yeah. Now, can Victor Matfield at the age of 38, first of all, make a comeback? Because even in two years that he's been out, the game has changed. And the game has got even more brutal. Yes. And, you know, now to, to come back now... Bucky, whew, you guys, know, I, don't, I, I really don't think so. Taste, you know, Victor and Bucky as a, as a lock pairing were great in their day. Now, I reckon you've got to say Etzebeth and Peter Steph, Steph du Toy. Etzebeth and Peter Steff, they're both 22 years old. Got to work if Peter yeah. Steff isn't 21, and work those guys and keep them playing, and won't, they will be magnificent, those two. Scary, in fact, if they just play them. And you've got to, you know, he, Jake nearly lost his job. He had to fly back from England yes. to, to come and Why? I can't recall. talk Why was well, that, because he, they had lost a couple of games, and then he went to New Zealand with a set second string side uh, when Johan Muller in fact captained the side in New Zealand no disrespect to Johan Muller he was a super player but it was a second string side because he was resting you know Jake had this theory and I think he was right the guys go in the gym right around about December January and mm. build the strength mm. they build strength then they start playing <coughs> February and because they're, they're, they're playing so much rugby 
they lose the weight strength that they've built up because you know they don't do as much weight strength work when they're playing because you know they reckon that that's bad for for your stamina and that type of thing mm. so jake said that guys had to have rest time and he gave guys the rest time and we lost a couple of tests and you know the mob turned against him and as i say he nearly bloom and lost his job yeah can remember that yeah yeah but there comes a time when, you know, Hanukkah Mayer seems to have this fetish that, you know, you can't lose a test. Well, you now, I'm not th saying th that you because he plays Eben Etzebeth, who's already played about 12 test matches, and, and Peter Steph de Toy, who frankly outplayed him in the Curry Cup final. But definitely, mm. yeah. Um, those are the guys, surely, that, that we should be looking to. Oh, no doubt. I mean, now... Yeah, with great respect to Vic, Vic and, and Bucky, the be best lock pairing in the world in their day. And for s considerable time. Yeah. And I've got another one here, Jacques Ferry. I mean, why not, again, blood the youngsters and bring the youngsters the in? The uh, of yeah. the world. JJ Ingelbrecht. Uh, <laughs> 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 Days from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central African time. Radio like you've never seen it before. Balls.co.za